The next one is One Sky Communication Services. We, oh, I'm sorry, One Sky, what did I say? Communication. One, One Sky Community Services. We, the undersigned residents of Hampton, petition the town of Hampton to place on the warrant the request to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the amount of $7,000 to support One Sky Community Services in their efforts to provide vital support and services to those individuals with developmental and intellectual disabilities who reside in the town of Hampton in the town's 2018 budget. Fiscal impact, uh, the, oh, I'm sorry, recommended by the Board of Selectmen 201. The estimated 2018 town uh, tax impact on $7,000 is zero point zero zero two per 1,000 valuation. Do I have a motion by David? A motion. a motion by David and seconded by second. Sonny. No, Sonny wanted to second that one. Thank you very much. Any discussion on this to recommend? Go ahead, Mr. Jones. Right. We put, if this one article passes, it will become a another line item in if they submit the following year right. they currently serve 70 residents in the town of Hampton. 70 70. Uh -huh. okay. is this is a that, brand new is this yes, a brand new brand new is this uh is this 70 a developmental or intellectual uh, they didn't break they it didn't down but it's, 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 it's spread between the two uh -huh. could be all of one or all of the other basically or it could well, be 50 50. Yeah. i have yeah. no idea yeah. Go ahead, David. You may have already just discussed this, but my question sure. is, early we have, if we voted for, we have about 25 charities. Right. This will be added to that list. Is that what you said? If the it passes year? town meeting and if they ask the following year for yes. appropriation, they all it would be added to that list. Right. Right. Thank you. So you have, okay, hold on, Sonny. So you've got yeah, 70 uh, people that are, no, no, hold on just a minute. You've got 70 people, $7,000, so you're spending uh, what, hundred dollars each? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not a lot of money. But whatever the case, I just wanted to make that comment. Go ahead, Sonny, please. Uh, the, with the proposal, did they say how many disabled children are serving in Hampton? Seventy. 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 Okay. Yeah. Not just children, though, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Not just children. They're right? serving se seventy individuals. Right. I can't tell you what the ages are. Right. You know okay. what they do services of no I'm not familiar with the company this is their first foray into into Hampton as far as I at, at least into the town yeah. it, it's it's some sort of a nonprofit correct? it is a nonprofit organization yeah. okay it's a 501c3 this one I just come in like yesterday kind of thing yes it came in today yeah. how long have they been serving the town I can't answer that question yeah. this is this is this like a, you know all of a sudden there's this nebulous yeah. part of this thing it's we don't like this last minute stuff it, well it's it, terrible this, this you know, it's very, it's like, where did this come from all of a sudden? Obviously, if they've been serving people in town for a couple of years, it seems like we'd know them, but they're br sort of brand new and they already have 70 people lined up. Go ahead, Sonny. No, they're not brand new, but what? No. Uh, Are you familiar CEO with them? Their CEO is Chris Munns. Yeah. Oh, Chris well, there you go. <laughs> well, that, that adds, please explain yeah, that. Perhaps Chris you know Munns. this no, organization. No, 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 no. I know he's a Democratic, he's the head of well, Democratic Abraham something or other. And <laughs> right. They hired him to be a CEO. And if they're serving 70 individuals in Hampton, it's, there's no reason not to approve it. Okay, okay, but you, you just gave us a little more information that yeah, well, that's at least, really you know, that's, that gives us a lot more information. You, Tim, yes? Fred, have you been able to validate what we're actually that they're actually serving seven individuals? That's my understanding. I can't I, yeah, I personally. Yeah. No, I haven't talked to anybody. They did put that in writing. We do have it officially. But you haven't had time to vet any of this information, right? I just, just received it this afternoon. To you. Yeah. And given, I'll give, make a uh, comment. Can I? I think it's valid. I'll right. yield to you. And, and I'll <laughs> no, 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 never mind. No, no wait, wait, wait. wait. It, so. Never okay. mind yielding. No, let just, me yield. No, please. no, no. Finish. <laughs> You finish, and then I will recognize Regina. Okay, that way we know who's running the meeting. I make a motion so that okay. I can yield. <laughs> finish up, Tim, and then I'll recognize the next speaker. So that way I will remain in control of order. And that okay. must be you have control. Okay, it is. May I suggest, in your wise control of everyone here, yes. that you grant Regina an opportunity to speak. Are you finished speak. speaking? I may have something to say after she speaks. That's different. You will have that opportunity, but you have to give up the floor first. Regina, please, go ahead. 
Christmas did come in. When did they come in? That was a while ago. Uh, he came in time? several months ago. Yeah, I mean, I barely. Yeah. yeah, I could yeah. barely. They've I, been they've been working at uh, trying to build this organization and and, and and increase its size and serve more people uh, over a period of time. And sometime earlier last year, he came in and sat with the board and explained to them what they were doing. So this is an established organization. <coughs> he is the CEO of it. Uh, they are serving so many people in this community, and they are serving people in surrounding communities as well. Okay. Thank you. Any, oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Tim. I was happy to yield to your Thank No, you. no, no, no. Thank go you. ahead. I recognize you, Tim. Now. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Oh, you're so welcome. Uh, <laughs> I will point out that we have a public uh, hearing on these Warren articles in two days on Thursday. Uh, Chris Munn will be motivated to attend and tell us all about his activities in this space if we vote not to recommend it. We can change our vote Thursday night. So, therefore, I suggest we all vote not to recommend it and inspire Chris to come in and tell us about his activities. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right. On that, who I would like to ask for a vote. Those in favor of recommending this particular Warren article, please raise your hands. We have Sonny. We have Maureen. We have okay. Danielle. Those opposed, please raise your hands. We have Brian and Steve LaBranch, Mike Fluff, Steve Henderson, uh, Mr. Jones, and David. And I, the very thing that Tim said, it will motivate Chris to come in and explain and, and validate and make a case. And we have hmm. abstentions would be Regina. Just okay. one second. The so three, did you get that? The, we have the three, three yeses. Voting in favor are three. Mr. Sonny, Kravitz, Danielle, Leslie, and, and Maureen. Okay. Then you had the others. Voting nay with Regina Bonds abstaining. All set, Barbara? 